What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about NG class in Angular and more specifically, class binding. So we've talked about how to bind words, how to bind objects, how to actually get data back, but we really haven't talked about how do you dynamically style an application based off of what is coming back from database or JSON or something from an external source. In a lot of the uh, power of frameworks and a lot of the power of JavaScript is the ability to dynamically show UI components based off of, like I said, some type of external data. A Boolean comes back is the, in this situation we're going to be we're going to add a boolean to and this is pr pretty real world you're going to add some type of toggle you're going to add some type of boolean to your uh basket of baby beavers or your pokemon app whatever app that you're making it doesn't really matter and we're going to toggle it based on ng class and ng class is how we do it so once again we're going we've added a we've done our this is our imaginary vs code just remember this is imaginary vs code on the left side we have our code behind right side we have our html but in this case this is kind of like a rare scenario we also have to do and i need to put a dot there because this is a class just remember that this is a class so there's a dot we also have css and CSS is going to be one of the ways in which we can style the app and probably the most common that you're going to, and the best practice. It's there are ways, and I'm going to teach you ways to actually inline style HTML. But in most cases, what you really want to use is you want to style your components with ng class or uh, class binding. So very simple. This is sort of the old school but more robust way you can do a lot more with just ng class regular class binding with the dot like we see here and this is ng class is literally just this right here so just pay attention to this part we can talk more about this here in a second but i'm assuming you probably already know what that's doing so class all that's happening here is just like in property binding if this basically if this is true or if this satisfies some type of truthy value truthiness remember truthiness is what we are looking for over here then this is going to be activated and what this basically means this class right here this is just angular's way of saying hey when this class or when this is truthy this is going to be a class on our html property and we are going to go reach into our CSS and HTML and actually go look for it. And you may be wondering, well, like, Teddy, how is it actually going in? This is another good thing to learn, too. Like, how is it actually finding these things? Um, what What's going on is up here. We actually have this component. And it looks kind of strange. But I always tell people, like, just, and I'm going to put this back, but... What is that? That's a decorator. That's basically a programming style that lets you decorate onto stuff. A lot of times people get thrown off. They don't really realize that this is actually just a decorator for this class. This isn't some type of thing that's like up here. This is attached to the class. This is called a decorator pattern. So what's going to happen is it's going to pass in that object in the style sheet's going to be found right here. If you look, you may not even notice it because a lot of time there's so much stuff going on that you don't really realize it, but there's a CSS file right here and that's how all of this is being found. So we've got that uh, Pokemon is cool. It's going to satisfy true, gonna go reach in and then it's going to turn our this element to a different color. So let's go ahead and do that and then we will talk about ng class. So what's going to happen is we are going to go in here and we are going to add our toggle is cool. We're going to add a true or false to each Pokemon and we are going to toggle is this Pokemon cool. Just kind of a funny way of if you were to do this in real life, it would be is active or something. It wouldn't you would never have a property like this. So just heads up. Do not do this in a product. Do not put is cool as a toggle in where you work just felt like i need to make that clear so 
what happens when you add this is cool the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a red squiggly line what is happening is type checking is saying hey there is like we there's a pokemon here but it does not have this property so if you have this problem in real life what you want to do is you just want to right click go to right click go to definition and it will if you didn't see that just a little bit more slowly for people out there right click go to definition and then you go up here and what's going to do is it's going to take you to this pokemon type now it's not incredibly important it is important to know interfaces but i do not expect anybody watching this for a uh, video to understand what interfaces are but an interface is a I'm trying to think an interface is if you had a box okay so a class would be like a an actual box an interface is almost like an imaginary box it doesn't really exist in the actual pro a class actually exists just remember that like a class like if I just were to turn this into a class I could do this exact, I could achieve this exact same task, but we use interfaces because interfaces are just logical type checking. And we use type checking so that, imagine if this Pokemon were in a hundred different places in your app and you added is cool to one of them and it broke the rest of the app. That's the reason that we have type checking. You see, apps can become so big in in especially in a like a production environment and you know you work for a corporation that you need type checking so that people know what's going on and there's almost like a rule saying like hey this is the way this model works and if you want to add in is cool you need to go to every single uh you need to go to every single object and make sure that is cool is able to be done and if it's not able to be done it will break so we go in here and let me see let's go down is cool and i'm actually coming out with a types typescript course soon enough so we will talk more about interfaces if you if you're not really clear on interfaces it's not incredibly important just yet but we will get around to it just remember that analogy okay so now let's turn squirtle is a cool pokemon pikachu is not cool Pikachu's too mainstream, and Charmander's a cool Pokemon. So, sorry if you're a big Pikachu fan. So, next thing, now we need to actually wire up this HTML. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is, let's do class first. So, first thing, we're going to go into our class indicator, and we'll go class. We need to put brackets around it. So, class dot, and we're going to call this cool indicator. Actually, let's call it cool bull. I like that. And then what's going to happen is for each Pokemon, we're going to have is cool. That's another reason that we have interfaces and we have type checking. Did you see how it automatically knew that that was there? That is a form. That's type checking. That's the beauty of type checking. And also the great thing about type checking is that you can just hover over stuff like this and you can see exactly what it is because there's almost like a record or there's almost something that tells you whether it exists or not and we need to go into our CSS and we need to create cool bool. so go in here cool bool. that's so stupid and then we're going to just give it a color of we're gonna give it the background color of blue because it, it's a cool pokemon so it's blue okay all right and for ff and that should be it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run it so ng serve fingers crossed this thing works yes we'll use a different port and it's gonna take forever because i this is the first time i started it this morning get some coffee Okay, let's go ahead. And would you look at that? Our cool Pokemon are lit up with a blue background. We can tell which Pokemon are cool, which ones are not. So now we need to talk about the second form of NG class. So 
this is a little i wouldn't say it's old school but this way right here is definitely easier because you don't have to make like this object what so the best way to think about ng class old school <laughs> is you go you look right here and whenever you just have the ng class and we'll talk about ng style basically all you're going to do is put this in an object and move out the property over here so right here we have a cool indicator so and then the cool indicator stays over on the left side you notice but with ng class basically what we're going to do is we take that and we put it over here we export it and we put it into an object and another thing too is that you can have multiple conditions here so i'm not like a perfect logic expert but if you wanted to put more conditions and you wanted to put more toggles like Pokemon is stylish or Pokemon is angry or something maybe like a mood you could also you could you could chain them onto each other but for this case just to not confuse people we'll go ahead and we'll just do like the the kind of the simpler one so let's go ahead let's go back and go back to our HTML and let me see here I'm gonna copy this down. So go down TR. I'm just gonna copy this down and we're going to do the other one. So ng class, let's go ahead, just take out our ng class, class. Then we're gonna go in here. Go ahead, split that one up, wrap it in an object. Then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make a little colon right here and let's say Pokemon dot is cool and something's going wrong here so let me see ng class so oh. wait a minute I'm getting mixed up here so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and redo this So cool bull. Okay, that's the one that we want. So cool bull. And then we're going to go over here and then it's going to be Pokemon dot is cool. So if you looked at what I did, essentially I took this out, I turned it into an object, I turned this into a string, put it over here, and then put the logic for this on the other side. And Angular is going to handle that truthiness for you and actually show it for you. So if I go here, it should be re-rendered. Let's see. And if you look over on the other side, they are identical and we've done our correct styling. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.